Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I'm going to show you how I set up my Philips Hue lights to blink anytime somebody offers me a super chat or super sticker on YouTube. Uh, now, there are lots of ways to monetize on YouTube. Uh, people, of course, think of the ads first, but super chats and super stickers are a great way to directly engage your audience and make maybe a few extra dollars during your live streams or YouTube premieres. I've been live streaming a lot more. And so uh, when this was enabled, I decided that this was a great thing to experiment. I love automation. So let's jump into it. Uh, before we do that, I do have two asks for you. First of all, if you're not, please subscribe to this channel. I'm doing a lot more automation and live streaming and web development tutorials and things like that. So subscribing would be great. But if you want to get lots and lots of actionable advice, tools, tips, and all of the content I'm creating, you can sign up for my free newsletter, buildsomething.email. It's the Build Something Weekly Newsletter. It is free and it is weekly, and you can sign up over at buildsomething.email. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out to you is that there are multiple ways to monetize your YouTube channel. There is the regular ads, there are memberships, and then there's what's called supers. So these are super chats and super stickers. And the way it works is a user can pledge some amount of money to pin a chat to the top, uh, pin a message to the top of the chat, I should say. And uh, they can also send stickers. So if they want to send a little graphic, again, they can pay for that and have that added to the chat as well. So if you have a fun and active chat, or if you just have people who are tuning into the live stream who want to support you directly, super chats and super stickers are a great way to do that. And if you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can use IFTTT, that's if this, then that, to uh, do something when somebody offers a super chat or a super sticker. So for me, I've got my smart lights. So when somebody uh, offers a super chat or a super sticker, my lights will blink. So I'm going to show you how to build that right now. We're going to go to create over on IFTTT. And I should say that if... Uh, if you are looking at IFTTT, it is free uh, and there is a pro tier. Hey, Editor Joe here. I just wanted to quickly clarify that you can create applets in both the free and the pro tier, but with the pro tier, you get unlimited app creation, faster execution, pro composer and multi-step conditions. Uh, with the free tier, you get... Uh, the ability to create three customized applets. So uh, you might be wondering, will you be able to do all of this with the free tier uh, or the standard tier, they call it, and you will be able to use the YouTube trigger and you'll be able to blink your lights. But this is a multi-step action, which you might need the pro plan for. And the pro plan is, well, they don't make their pricing. Oh, here we go. Uh, $3.99 a month. That's a lot cheaper, cheaper than something like Zapier. So, uh, I know I got in when they first launched it, which I'm about to tell you about, but, uh, I think it's at $3.99 a month to automate some of your home stuff. I think that this is really worth it. When they rolled out the free tier, uh, or the, the pro tier, I basically decided that I was going to just get in for like two bucks a month for life. I figured that would be worth the IFTTT automations. And if you're wondering what the difference between something like IFTTT and Zapier is, IFTT does a really good job of connecting to uh, smart devices. So if you have a connected home, if you have lights other than the Philips U lights, uh, then you can probably find an automation in IFTTT. You won't find those smart home uh, automations in Zapier. But another great thing that IFTTT offers is YouTube integration, really good YouTube integration, actually. And there are a few triggers here. One is new super chat message and one is new super sticker message. These are going to work the same exact way. So I'm just going to choose new super chat message. Uh, you will have to authenticate your YouTube channel if you haven't already. And then uh, for the trigger, you can choose a specific color tier. Uh, now, 
The colors are associated with pricing in super chats and super stickers. So if somebody pays a dollar, it's blue. And if somebody pays a hundred dollars or more, it's red. I'm going to choose any. I want to celebrate anybody who has given any amount of money uh, to watch my live stream, basically. So I'll go ahead and click create trigger. And so we have the if, and then we have the then that. I'll click add, and I will search for Philips Hue. Now, again, you will have to authenticate your Philips Hue account that is connected to all of your smart devices in order to use this. And there are a couple of steps to this. So the first thing we want to do before we blink the lights, or the first thing I want to do before I blink the lights, is set the color to match the color level of the Super Chat. And we can do this with the change color action. So I'll click that. It'll ask me which lights I want my office lights. You can see that it brings in any of the rooms as well as specific lights here. I want all of the Philips lights that can support color changing in my office to change. But uh, just so you can see what I'm talking about, it's the strip lights over here and the box light behind me. Okay, so now it's going to ask us for a color value or name. It accepts color names like blue, red, green, etc., or CSS hex colors. So if you are familiar with CSS hex colors, you can be really specific. But IFTTT also grabs what are called ingredients from the trigger, and one of them is color tier. So color tier will be the name of the tier, which we can pass to the hue light. So I will create the action. And then you see another plus button added here. So we can add a second action, which will be to blink the lights. And that is right here. And again, it'll ask me which lights. I'll say the office lights. And then I'll create the action. So once we do that, let's just review this real quick. If there's a new super chat message, you can change this trigger to super sticker, but we can't add multiple triggers. It's basically one trigger per applet. Uh, if I click this plus button, it's to add queries or filters. So uh, that could be getting specific information from the trigger. If there's a new super chat message, then change the color and blink the lights. I will click continue. I would give this a title and click finish. I'm not going to do that because I already have this applet ready to go. If we go to, I have super sticker blink and super chat blink. And again, this is going to look exactly like what we just set up here, right? I have super chat message, blink lights, change color. This is actually in the wrong order. So why don't I go ahead and fix that? So uh, there's no way to reorder, like which is very frustrating. Uh, so I will just delete this. So then change color and blink the lights. And of course, I want this to be office. I'll make sure that the change color is for office. Perfect. OK, and then I'll click update. So now we want to test this, right? So I will go back to my YouTube channel. I will put myself in the uh, bottom right here so you can actually see that this works. And then I will go to content. I'll go to live. I have a live stream, stream scheduled for today. I'll click view in live control room. And you could see that the super chat the live chat is available even though I'm not live streaming. So I can show my support by sending a super chat. I will just do a $1 because that's what we want to test. And I can click buy and send here. Okay, so my message has been delivered and hopefully we'll see the lights. There we go. They're blinking. They didn't change colors. Oh, there they go. So now they are, they're, they're blinking, they are changing colors. Uh, a little fun notification to let people know that someone has paid. Now, I didn't see a way to end uh, the blinking. It looks like it just blinks for a few seconds and then it uh, 
goes to the color, which is super exciting because that means I don't have to change anything. I do have a button on my stream deck to set it back to white if I want, but that was super fun. So that's how you do it. That is how you use IFTTT to blink your smart lights when you get a super chat or a super sticker. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up down below and subscribing to this channel for more great content.